Okay, sorry, we're back. I went to the app store and since the screen moved, it just didn't want to work anymore. So I was going to put a sign and all this stuff. I guess they have these buttons now. It would be a great mo button if I can move the button somewhere else. We can turn swap, jump, and sneak, and button size. Okay, made them too small. Little, okay. Not much. Make them bigger. Too, still too small. Okay, this is just a little too small. I'll, I'll have them at... Yeah, actually, it's a great size. Full. Okay, so now let's try the nether. This is real. I was trying, I tried going to the app store, it didn't want to work. This is real stuff. Real. Not fake. And also one thing. Oh yeah, let's just set that tree on fire. Don't don't ask me for the link to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Go in the app store yourself. Or if you have an Android you can ask. I I'm using an iPhone 6. But if you have an Android I if you have an Android phone you can ask because I know an app for that's called Aptoid. Just go go download Aptoid on the App Store, and then you can and then basically just basically just download Aptoid. You get find Minecraft Pocket Edition for free, and it, um, this is the Nether. The Nether and Minecraft Pocket Edition. All that obsidian lava you found is now useful. So useful. Oh yeah, there's a few more, a lot more blocks in here too. There's a few more. There's little Steve heads. Yes, they add Steve heads into this. Yay! Also, I just came back from school. They add Steve heads in here and other head stuff, which is really great too. Let's see if the anvil works. Well, I can't use it in creative mode so it's not gonna work. Here's the outline box for it. But still, I'm excited that they added controller support. Even you can probably even use your keyboard for this too. Keyboard and mouse. Minecraft Pocket Edition. Best thing ever. I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, so I'll have to use it. Well I mostly controller support. Okay here's the Golden apple of good. Oh yeah, this is what the enchant. This is enchanted stuff. Looks like a Minecraft pocket edition. It's a little not. It's a little buggy and stuff. And enchanting's in this too. If the anvils are to be in this, enchanting must be in here too. I'm gonna try throwing this. Yeah, it works. So now everyone that has Minecraft pocket edition, everybody that has it can now do all this stuff. Very even more stuff closer to the Xbox. But still, redstone look at it's getting added in very soon, but you just can't place it down anywhere. You can see your hand moving, but you just can't place it down. You can even place it on the wall, too. So let's try going through the... Uh, I don't want to explore here. There's, there's nether quartz, there's everything good. Wait, let's see if sleeping in the bed works. Yep, it explodes, but not like the PC or Xbox. And we spewed some lava. We're not. I'm not fixing that. I'm going back to my own world. It took a while to generate. But still, I think even I think even five players. It seems boring. This video. I know you're probably gonna leave from it soon. And they have armor in here too, which is great. You can't put them on somehow. I know it's probably gonna be getting boring. You wanna probably probably leave soon and go to a different video. Okay, let me make something even better. Let's let's try something. Okay, what do I do next? Should I get my Wii U Pro controller and like connect it? I, I don't I don't have a PlayStation 3 controller, but it should still work. They have different color boats. We have more mobs. We have armor and creative. Hold on. Iron boots, let me try something, hold on. Um, I already have diamond boots on, probably from... This is, how, this is walking creative mode. Let me just... Okay, walking's still good. I'm just testing a few things. Okay. Controller support, customize. You can do anything. 
Don't go to the screensaver computer. Okay, we're almost at a gigabyte. We want this to be one gigabyte big. This should be part two. That's probably going to be part two of Mr. Video, but I want all my videos to get a thousand views. So, Minecraft Pocket Edition, it's the... Yep, the ad's sprinting. This is even more closer. I can sprint now. There's no... Yeah, there's particles here. I can sprint now. Yes. Yes, I can sprint now. I can now sprint. They add sprinting in Minecraft Pocket Edition now? I wonder if Hunger is in it too. Well, let me just go back to the edge. Let me go back here. And let me try. Let me go in like. Since I can sprint now in Minecraft Pocket Edition. One! Let me go to. Yep, they added Hunger in this game too. There's hunger, there's experience points. You can't move the player around. High definition. It looks great on the computer screen too. So they add sprinting. Oh yeah, don't forget. I, there's an iron door here. I can't open it. There's the still update block. There's invisible bedrock. There's still spawners, but nothing in them. Lava. Still invisible bedrock. But the camera doesn't move when you go into shifting mode. When you go put in part shift. So here's the what's supposed to be lava. It's it's, it's dot name. Place that back down. I should finish this. I should really finish this house. Wait, I have, remember having the tablet version of. Well, yeah. So I have an infinite burning furnace. Now I can go and do something. We have hunger. Everything's also the buttons are moved too. Next up, what should we do? Oh wait, let me do the addition. Crap. Can't do it. Well, the hunger bar shakes, everything works. This is really close to the Xbox version. Let me break out of here. They even add slower mining while in water. I don't know the new sounds, but slower mining in water. Now you don't need to walk slowly to your house, you can like sprint to your house now. Oh yeah, I'm losing hunger. I'm going to go and end the video now. I'm going to add this up in iMovie, hopefully it's 60 FPS. Actually, I'll just add this in Quick Player Movie, I don't need to render an entire thing. I'll add this in Quick Time, or I can just pour, put all this movie onto my iPhone, and then render it on there. I'll be happy to try to connect my controller to this. And, or even kept my keyboard. Hold on, I feel like I have a setting off. Hold on. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the FOV. Here's FOV nearly 30. You can see far away. You can see really far away, and you can see like like this. If you're really playing like this, Enjoy. You can play Minecraft Puck Edition now. They had hunger, sprinting, everything else good. I like my FOV like in the middle. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching YouTube. And Jebba really has amazing hair. And I'm going to, and I'm going to test out the controller support. Okay, everyone. Oh wait, auto. I forgot one thing. Button size and auto jump. There's auto jump, which is basically basically when you have a keyboard or stuff, you can turn auto jump on like you normally would be. So basically you don't need to sign the button. So you actually have auto jump off with your controller and stuff. Okay, so everyone, bye everyone. I'm going to connect my Wii, my controller to the thing and try playing. I'll try to connect my keyboard. Okay, bye. Hello YouTube, it's me again. And remember the other Minecraft Pocket Edition video I did on the update? This is update. 0.112.1 alpha and I don't even know it's one glitch. This is not a glitch video. This is more of me playing
Well, there, it's not really, here's the glitch with the old survival world, I call creative. Hey, where's the, there's the always make day button, but it's in the middle of make infinite button. But now let's continue what we are doing. So here's the new menus. There's actual difficulty, so it's not just difficulty on or off. You can set the probably difficulty to probably, that's probably easy, normal, hard. Third person view, probably the normal one, and the one that's the new front face one. Same skins, but now there's a con now there's controller support and keyboard layout. But feedback destroy block doesn't do work yet, really. I click swap jump and sneak because the sneak button is where you would normally be jumping used to. It's good if you're like running. So now they add sneaking in here. Button size, same thing. Render distance, they added FOV. Still experimental high GOI. Still everything I have render distance on mostly. Mostly, it's not really too much. I have it on here. I don't want it going too far. Also, it also works at the Minecraft Windows 10 edition, too. Cross-platform. That's what the App Store said. I hope you get this video gets a thousand views. I'll have it on normal difficulty. Okay, so let's get started. See what's new. Let's go to Create World. The Create. I just see there's a new button. You're try if you try to go up, you can't go up. You need to use these two side buttons. Can be useful actually. Cause let's say you're oh, I, I destroyed Oh, I just noticed something. I have a much, much bigger thing. Okay, so let's go fix our thing. We were using block. We were using the nice rail. Ooh, here it is. The new everything. As you can see, there's new blocks. There's lots of new stuff in here. Not exciting as the old one. There's an there's anvils in here. There's other great stuff too. So I'm gonna go find my cart. So not the cart, but mostly this. So I can do this. And let's go into third person mode. This is the one this is the front face view. Oh crap, I'm not used to it. So you press this button. It makes you crouch. Or or pushing like pushing the C the Z the shift button on the computer version or pressing the button on the Xbox. You can't walk over to the edge, which is very useful for building. You don't need to go in th third person mode and do everything else. Wait, did I, did I see some... Look at the windows on top. There's a little bit of, bit of bugs and errors. But it's still good. Let's go see if the nether is added, because those are the nether mobs. Like, there's the... There's the blaze, there's the gas. Magma cube is in here, too. And also, they change the boats, what they look like. You can use different wood for boat, you can do everything else. The button's slightly bigger for flying. I don't really mind, but I have a whole bunch of other menus down here. I have so many more blocks, which is really actually really useful. Now we're going to go and see if another works. Oh, wait. Oh, redstone. Oh. I thought, I thought you could place redstone on the ground. I was really excited for it, but you can really just click on the ground and press it at least, but it won't really do anything. You just make your hand swing. Okay, so next up, next item. We're using flint and steel. Let's see if it works. It's mostly not going to work. It's just me this time. Okay, so let's try it here. Let's just fly across here. There's the big nether reactor. Now let's also I got also got plug for PE so I can get commands too. Let's try this. Something. I want to try something. Hold on. No command provided. Command not found. I'll try it. Let me see if this works. Add another mobs and. No, it's not you. My microphone's working po fine. They added the Nether in Pocket Edition. No joke. They added Nether in Pocket Edition. Let me go 